Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Team VRY. Now, it's been a terrific week for Pixel owners as Google recently had some big news. And yeah, it looks like Google was listening after all. After earlier news that Gemini Nano was not arriving for the Pixel 8, which sparked a bit of outrage among Pixel fans, the company has now announced that Gemini Nano will in fact be arriving for the Pixel 8 as a developer preview in the next Pixel feature drop. With that said, the feature will power Google Summarize in Recorder and Smart Reply in Gboard, and Google does acknowledge that there was considerable demand for Gemini Nano on the base model Pixel 8, although it did involve quite a bit of testing in order to bring over the feature to the regular Pixel 8 flagship. Now for those unfamiliar with the issue, a few weeks ago, a Google employee stated that Gemini Nano will not be arriving for the Pixel 8, due to hardware limitations and was initially only planned for the Pixel 8 Pro. And yeah, following this news, a lot of people were upset that the Pixel 8 was missing out on Gemini Nano, given that it basically comes with the same hardware as on the Pixel 8 Pro. With this development, however, it does finally give Pixel 8 users the chance to try out Gemini Nano on their devices. Now, Google did release a short statement saying, We've seen a lot of excitement from users and developers since Pixel 8 Pro became the first smartphone to get Gemini Nano last year. Running large language models on phones with different memory specs can deliver different user experiences, so we have been testing and validating this on Pixel 8. We're excited to provide the opportunity for more enthusiasts and developers to try out Gemini Nano, where we hope to get more feedback and see more innovation. With all that being said, this is quite a good move on Google's part in building back trust with its user base since it shows that Google is capable and willing to bring newer software features to its devices. Which brings us to our next point of discussion. The company also recently announced that it will be bringing Circle to Search for older tensor-powered Pixel devices. Following the arrival of the feature for the Pixel 7 a few weeks ago, it looks like Google has decided to open up the feature for more Pixel owners and in particular, all of the tensor-powered Pixel smartphone models, including the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 7a and 6a, Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet, will receive Circle to Search. Now, for those unfamiliar with the feature, Circle to Search works by letting users tap and hold on their navigation bar and draw a circle around an image anywhere on their screen to initiate the Google image search function. Now, with all that being said, the feature might be exclusive to Google's tensor-powered Pixel phones, as most of its older Pixel devices, including the Pixel 5 and 4 series have basically reached their end of life status with most of them receiving their final software updates last year. Now it should be said that Circle to Search is not exclusive to Google Pixel phones as it's also available on the Galaxy S24 series and Google does say that it will come to more Samsung devices including the Galaxy S23 series, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 as well as the Galaxy Tab S9 series. Now with both Gemini Nano and Circle to Search making their way over to more Pixel phones, as a Pixel Pixel user, I like that I was proven wrong. If you were watching this channel, I did release a previous video questioning the lack of availability of Gemini Nano on the Pixel 8. But with these new developments, it's really great to see the feature make its way to the base model Pixel 8. Now with that said, Google didn't exactly give a specific timeline in terms of regional availability, but yeah, we can probably expect Gemini Nano to arrive for more Pixel users in the coming days and months, and the same can be said for Circle to Search. So yeah, that's all the time that we have for this quick video. Let me know what you guys think about Gemini Nano and Circle to Search in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to watch our other videos here on TeamViewer Y. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.